So we have a writing prompt. I put the first name and the last name. And the writing prompt was something about an army coming into the neighborhood and uh, kicking down doors, soldiers with guns and tanks. So let's go ahead and start this out. First off, I want to think about what I'm going to write. Think, think, think. And uh, also, I want to give it kind of a flashy start. I'm going to make sure that I indent and let's go ahead and get going. Given, let's see here. Good start. Notice that I have capitalized, I'm indented. Given that an army has just invaded my neighborhood, the option is simple. Now I'm going to surprise you with this. I'm going to put a sentence that isn't really a sentence. I could do this one of many ways, but I'm going to do this. That's it. Whole sentence. Run. Normally a sentence needs a subject and a verb. In this case, the subject is implied, meaning me and my family, and the verb is run. What makes this good is you have a long sentence followed just by the shortest sentence in the world. By the way, normally a complete sentence is something like rocks collide, but we'll settle with that. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and underline this word for you and come back to it. I want you to notice retreat is an action verb. You should always use strong verbs when you write. Okay? So use action verbs all throughout. Given that an army we have run, gather is a good verb. So make sure you use action verbs. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, there it is. This is uh, probably just about right what I would expect from my students as far as lengthwise. Skipping lines, this is about, um, it's the right amount. Skipping lines is good for um, stuff that you're going to edit on a rough draft. See, what it does is it gives you an optional space if you want to change word choices. For instance, say you don't want pets. You put the delete mark and you write animals. So this extra space is very useful while kind of rearranging stuff and then if you need to you can transfer it over onto single space. 
So it's a good idea for planning. On a state test, I, I thought about this, and I am certain on a state test that they would want single spacing. Because single spacing says that, hey, it tells the guy, I know what I'm doing. I don't need to skip lines or anything like that. And everything is succinct and to the point. So it, if you are using single space, it, it just says you're more educated. For the classroom environment, I would expect for writing tasks, any writing tasks, it, it would be excellent if you do skip lines because it gives you just so many different options for fixing your writing. Okay, thank you very much.